Uh, welcome to this video today, which is on uh, Sunday, 29th of October. What we're going to look at is a potential big move in the US dollar against the JPY to the downside. I'm going to the charts in a moment. I think the USD could fall by 300 pips, possibly even 500 pips. Now, in terms of getting those profit targets, I'm using the COT, our favorite tool in Forex trading to back up our technical analysis. If you don't know what the COT Commitment to Traders report is, simply click on the link beneath this video because it is very effective in getting you great risk reward entries in the market. If you just want to watch the video through right now, just keep in mind we always want to trade with smart money commercial hedgers when they move aggressively in their positions against large speculators. Okay, now we're going to go to the COT data first of all. Uh, look at the charts and I'll just come back uh, and sum up with a few additional points. So let's go to the COT data. Uh, COT net traders positions for the Japanese yen against the US dollar. Obviously we trade USD v Japanese yen. So i going to reverse the chart around at the moment. CFTC data always has foreign currency first. Now just for new viewers, so I'm just going to illustrate how we use the report. Commercials in red, smart money hedges. Okay, Large speculators in green. Uh, they're just basically large managed funds. Okay, now what we want is the commercials, the smart money, to diverge away in their positions from the large speculators. That's going to alert us to a move in favor of the commercials. Now, I've highlighted four areas on this chart. This one here, commercials really step up their buying, specs drop against them. Nice bottom and a move to the upside. Did get a little bit of a retracement back, but the commercials step up their buying again push off to the upside, okay? This one over here, nice bottom in favor of the commercial speculators again, caught heavy net short, up we go. Now over here, we've got prices steadying, okay? Commercials are nearly as long as they were on this nice move up. Now, are we gonna get a nice move up in favor of the commercials back to this level maybe? I think possibly that we might. Um, so let's go and have, a look at the charts and um, we'll put them the right way around now uh, to USD JPY. Let's start with the weekly chart first of all to see the really big Can levels. Weekly chart and just want to look at the, the, the weekly chart so we can see the big levels support and resistance. Uh, that will help us on the daily chart when we do our levels of entry stop and target. Now come down nicely here the USD then rallies back, drift down and now we're in a sideways channel. And yeah, I think this, the bottom of the channel is there at about 108.50. Yeah, obviously this candle bottom here, we did get beneath it, but we soon came back above it. Top of the channel, you've got it there about 114.40. Okay, and keep in mind that the commercials are now coming to sell hard into this level. I think there is a level behind here that we need to be aware of obviously which is 115 so round numbers it's always important you can see some more uh resistance at that level as well now if we're to break above and hold above 115 that that will negate uh our, our bearish view of the usd for now but yeah with the commercial selling here we're looking to come in short okay now Plenty of downside potential, yeah, just below 114, down to 108.50. Uh, in terms of um, support in between, I think the level that we should look out for is going to be here, okay? Why? That big blue candle, then the break above the 20, okay? So 111 is, for me, the level in between. So there are potential targets on the downside okay from looking uh, at the weekly chart got the targets we know where the significant uh, resistance is as well so now let's go to the daily chart uh, uh, and yeah, draw some usd levels. jpy uh, daily chart uh, i've noted the weekly levels that we just looked at just at the top yeah they will reinforce levels on the daily chart yeah i like them to line up now in in terms of resistance okay see where resistance is it's just actually below the weekly level about one uh 14 35 
It doesn't matter. They don't have to line up exactly, but we know, yeah, this is going to be hard to take out. Yeah, the, the weekly resistance, um, we've just come off it. Okay. Now, in terms of uh, the weekly chart, we know we've got another level up at 115. Now, in terms of what we've got, we've got, yeah, trying to push up higher. And these candles are not that big. Okay. Small candles looks like, for me, the momentum to the upside is running out of steam. So where would you want to come in? Well, if you're being aggressive, I would come in through this low. Okay. Uh, so through uh, 113.60, let's say, and then look for a move to the downside. Now, in, in terms of the 20-day moving average, I'm going to ignore it here. I just don't think it's going to provide any support. Yeah, when you get this sort of momentum running out of steam, so to speak, it should take her out. Now, obviously, we looked at the weekly chart, where is uh, the first level of support? Well, it's down here at 111. You can argue on the daily chart, you've got some support around 111.50, I think. Okay, those candles there could provide a little bit of support. However, due to the extremity of the COT, I, I personally don't think so. I think it's going to be obviously 111. Okay, so that's our first target. And then you've got here where we reversed up 108.50. We saw it on the weekly chart. That's your next level. Okay. Now, in terms of um, yeah, coming in on this one, through the low, okay, then look for it to follow through then hopefully follow through all the way down. We can see, yeah, in terms of momentum, although it's only a backup, um, we are turning down from above 80 on stochastic and we're turning down on the RSI. Uh, it's nearly overbought. So momentum is now moving to the downside. Also on this outer Bollinger Band, um, in terms of volatility, we've come back, we did it. We find that significant. So I think, yeah, we could run to the downside. Now, where do you put your stop? Well, you can put it at 114.50, if you wish. I've got a position running with that stop on at the moment, um, or back behind 115. Now, if we do pop above or up towards the 115 level, what am I going to do? I, I'm going to sell weakness. I don't, I don't care if I'm stopped out on this trade. Um, I think it's a high probability trade. If we do pop higher, try and get back in uh, through... Yeah, the breakout point, I'm going to look for it to be a fake out, so to speak. Uh, if we close above 115, it would negate my bearish view. Uh, but personally, I think, yeah, the commercial's pretty good record uh, in terms of the COT uh, on, the, on the Japanese yen in, in getting nice entries. And um, I think this one, yeah, regardless of how it turns out, looks like a, a good risk reward trade to us. So we shall see how it pans out and I will update in a future video. Thank you very much for watching me as usual. Take care. Have a good Welcome day. back after the analysis there of a USD JPY. Now, in terms of that trade, obviously we've got uh, ambitious profit targets. And yeah, the COT will allow you to do that because you measure the sentiment behind the chart. You cannot set ambitious targets from just pure technical levels. Now, in terms of that trade, I hope it works out as well as the AUD, USD and USD CAD trades that we've been putting videos up on, where one is near enough 300 pips in profit, the other is over 500 pips. Now, what I like about COT trade setups is in terms of USD JPY, if you go read the news wires, most people are, are out and out bearish of the Japanese yen. They think the USD is going far higher. Okay. But that was the same um, when we had AUD, USD and USD CAD. The media were generally saying that the AUD and CAD were going higher on the USD and the USD then mounted a big rally. I think we're going to see the same in USD JPY. The consensus view is always wrong um longer term okay you know you have a, a peaking of bullish or bearish news i think the bearish news has peaked for the jpy in terms of my reading of the fundamentals now in terms of you know looking at the fundamentals you don't have to you know if you don't want to yeah you, know, you can use 
the COT as your shortcut to them. They will give you the confidence to go against the majority. Now, if that trade is wrong and any trade can go wrong, the risk is not very much in relation to the potential profit. Like I've said, if I am wrong on this one in the short term, if the COT backs me up, I'll probably come in and try and sell again. But obviously I'm hoping it's gonna run down in my favor, okay? Now, we've got to keep in mind, and I'll stress this for beginners, when you're using the COT, the commercials are hedgers. They could be wrong in the short term, okay? They're just hedging cash. We have to use good money management, good stop protection. But um, in terms of using the COT, you will get those big winners to cover your inevitable losers. And as a strategy, yeah, I've always loved, uh, you yeah, know, well, everyone knows I love trading with the COT. I will obviously, um, yeah, be back to update this trade. Obviously, if you want our full trading techniques, our COT analysis on over 30 pairs, and um, our daily technical analysis of um, major forex pairs, you can simply click on the link beneath this video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Have a good day.